What is going on guys? Welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be showing you and teaching you how to calculate your calories so you can lose weight or gain weight. Before I begin the video, I just want to say that if you enjoy my videos, then definitely subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification bell so that you're going to be updated every single week whenever I upload. So to start, I'm going to go ahead and throw up the equation for men to be able to calculate your calories. And so the calorie calculation is going to be 9.99 times your weight in kilograms plus 6.25 times your height in centimeters minus 4.92 times your age in years plus 5. For women, it will be 9.99 times your weight in kilograms plus 6.25 times your height in centimeters minus 4.92 times your age in years minus 161. You're calculating your basal metabolic rate with this equation, okay? And so this is one of the most accurate and precise equations to use. There's many of them, but this is my favorite. And I use this exact equation whenever I'm calculating the calories of my clients that I create custom meal plans for. And as you know, I'm an NASN nutrition coach, and so I do this every single week and I've seen very positive results from the plans that I create with this equation. So once you calculate your basal metabolic rate with this equation, then you're going to want to multiply by a factor depending upon how active you are. So if you are sedentary or other words, little or no exercise and you work a desk job, then you'll multiply the result from the equation by 1.2. If you are lightly active or you do light exercise one to three days per week, then you will multiply the result of the equation by 1.375. If you're moderately active or you moderately exercise maybe three to five days a week, then you'll multiply the result of the equation by 1.55. And if you're very active, meaning you do heavy exercise six to seven days per week, then you'll multiply the result of the equation by 1.725. And finally, if you're extremely active, meaning you're training twice per day or you have a physical job, then you'll multiply the result of the equation by 1.9. Okay, and so if we do a realistic example of me, then you can see that right here, we're gonna go ahead and do 9.99 times my weight in kilograms plus 6.25 times my height in centimeters minus 4.92 times my age in years plus five. And so my basal metabolic rate is 1,805.75. And then I am pretty active, so I do six to seven days of working out per week. And so we're gonna to have to multiply this by 1.725 for very active. And so I get about 3,115 calories per day. I rounded up a little bit just because, you know, um, there's always error in some of these equations. There's always gonna be a percentage of error. And so go ahead and round up your number. And that's basically how many calories that you can consume a day to maintain your weight, meaning you will not gain or lose any weight. You are maintaining your weight with this amount of calories. Now let's say that you want to lose weight. Let's say that uh, your goal is to lose fat. You want to get lean, right? Okay. So all you have to do is just take the answer to this calculation that you've just done and subtract 500. And if you consume that amount of calories every single day, you will lose one pound a week. Now Heath, why if I'm consuming 500 calories less than what I need to be consuming to maintain my weight, will I lose one pound a week? Okay, well there's 3,500 calories and one pound, right? 500 times seven days a week is 3,500 calories. And so if you're in a 500 calorie deficit, that's what this is called, then you will lose one pound per week. So muscle gain is definitely something that a lot of players want to achieve, right? And it's definitely, definitely easy to do. Uh, all you really have to do is take that calorie allowance that we just calculated, mine was 3,100 and something, and you just add around 400 to 500 calories. But instead of consuming just carbs, all you're gonna do is just consume 500 calories extra of just straight protein every single day. And assuming that you're on a correct and balanced resistance program in the gym lifting weights, um, where you have proper uh, muscle hypertrophy going on, then you will gain muscle. And this is because with a proper gym training program plus the amount of protein that you need to be able to build that muscle fibers back, 
from the gym training that you just did, then that will ultimately lead in muscle gain because you're in a calorie surplus of protein, which helps to support muscle growth. That will ultimately lead to muscle gain in the long term, assuming that you're in the gym two to three days a week doing some type of hypertrophy training. Now, obviously, hypertrophy training can inhibit performance in the field, depending upon how bulky you get and all that stuff. Uh, that's another video for another day, but just keeping it plain and simple, it's just tracking the calories to improve muscle gain, to improve fat loss. So those things are definitely achievable with just changing your calories and maybe a little bit of a altercation when it comes to getting into the gym more. But other than that, those goals are definitely achievable. Now, a topic that I wanna to touch on really quickly is if you wanna gain muscle and lose fat at the same time. Okay, if you wanna lose fat and you wanna gain muscle at the same exact time, that's a tricky one and it's gonna be a lot slower process, right? That's what's called body recomposition. And it takes a pretty good amount of time to do. So, I mean, the way to do it primarily is to be in a calorie deficit because you can't lose any weight unless you're in a calorie deficit, period. Then upping your protein intake to support muscle growth. The ideal way to do this is to take the less extreme approach and to do them separated and to lose fat first and then gain muscle or to gain muscle first and then lose fat. Um, as a soccer player, I personally feel like it's easier to lose fat first and then gain muscle just because you can get lean down and that'll increase your performance because you're not gonna have as much body fat on you carrying around whenever you're running. And then you can increase weight, increase muscle mass slowly as your body adjusts. And so ideally that's the way to do it. Y'all can do it how you want. I give you all the tools. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely drop a like and subscribe on this video and I'll catch y'all next week. Peace.